bring you through. No. You have said on more than one occasion that I cannot vote. You have said that this is my place, that this is my home, that I belong here. But you have contained me. And now I am saying no to you. I do this in order to create a better life for myself, for others, and for the future of our county. This is our home too. We're tired, tired of taking scraps, tired of being placed last. We've been working this land for centuries. My father worked this land, as did his father. Sharecroppers, growing crops on land we didn't even own. Our blood, sweat, tears, and body fertilize this soil. We have been struggling for as long as I can remember. How dare they tell us we cannot vote on decisions that affect us all? We, as black people, make up 80% of this county. Are you registered to vote? I'm not. I don't know anyone who is. We have to take control of our destiny. They can't intimidate us anymore. We have leaders, the church, teachers, the matriarchs of our community, we can govern ourselves accordingly. We know what we need, what we deserve. We must have seats at the table. We must be involved in the decisions that affect us. Stand up. Let's take care of business. Lowndes County is in the heart of Dixie one of many counties in the state that is predominantly black, while its government is 100% white. 90% of the land, although we work it, is owned by 86 white families. We are living in poverty, overworked, underpaid. We endure high taxation, and there is little to no hope for the future. For the first time since Reconstruction, the Negro in the South has the vote. But having a vote without having a say as to who's running is as good as no vote at all. It's time we stop living in fear. Political power is the first step to independence. I've contacted the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. They have an idea of how we can develop our own political party in our county. They were just out in Mississippi and they developed a party called the Mississippi Democratic Freedom Party. The Democratic Party of Alabama don't fear racism and violence. But what they do fear is the mass exodus of Negroes from their party. For decades, we have been told that politics is white folks' business. But if they are to recognize our power, we must organize on our own. And SNCC is the organization that will lead us through this struggle. We must stop living in fear. Let's go! Between March and July of 1965, there were 60 black citizens who were successfully able to register to vote. After the Voting Rights Act of 1965 in August of that same year, numbers excelled to approximately 3,900 registered black voters in November of 1966, just in time for the election. 
The first step is obvious, but it's honestly the hardest. We have to start registering people. It's going to be difficult to get people to the courthouse, but we have to remind them of a, a, a sense of, of the right to fight racial oppression and exploitation. A lot of people in this community feel as though they don't have the right. And not only that, that the fight is meaningless and will end up with them losing their land or their homes. In December, there were 20 families who were evicted and they had to spend the rest of the winter living in tents. Temperatures below freezing. I mean, once we're able to rid ourselves of, of, of centuries of fear and intimidation, once we're willing to resist, we will, we will begin to live. We will create our own existence. The Alabama Code of Laws defines political party as an, as an assemblage or, or an organization that at the general election gets 20% of the vote. 20%. We have that. We can do this. The code says that we need an official symbol for our party and we need to hold a meeting to nominate our candidates. If, if there is a symbol that could represent the party and the county, what would it be? The Black Panther. We've been backed into a corner. We are fighting for ourselves and our humanity. We're gonna come out fighting for life or death. Courage, determination, and freedom. We have to do this the right way. It's not just about votes. We have to teach people the importance of voting and the game of politics. We need political education classes and, and registration drives. And let's also publish a pamphlet, a, a booklet that informs people of the separate offices they will be voting for and also the problems they may face if they do register. We have to get moving because the primary election is in May. People are going to ask questions. They will say things. And the Alabama Democratic Party is already denounced us and are trying to make us question ourselves and our abilities. They always project themselves as ready, whereas we must prepare. We must be ready and we will be ready. Pull the lever for the Black Panther. Oh Lord, I'm ready. I want to thank you and your staff for all the work you put in. That, none of this would have been possible without your wisdom and insight. You know, whether we win or lose, what you did in this community is going to last for years. This is what the movement is about. We have to redefine ourselves and only we can do that. What we have done should be spread across the country. We have not only gotten people to vote and create a party, but the programs that we are doing are programs that every black community needs. There are two young men that have contacted me wanting to create an organization of their own. Your Black Panther symbol has inspired people. Would you mind if they used it? It would be our honor. Not a four, not a five, not a six, four, not a seven, four, not a eight, four. I got to make a hundred.